Hello everyone, Scott Bloom here. Uh, today I am going to show you uh, how to add uh, Sega Saturn games using uh, the SSF em emulator, and uh, Demon Tools Lite, and uh, a batch to EXE converter. Uh, as you can see right here, I've got uh, a Sega Saturn category, and I've got several games here already. Um, Okay, yeah. All right, let's get uh, set up on how to actually do that because uh, SSF isn't like other uh, uh, disc-based console emulators. Like uh, EPSXE, you can load uh, games directly from uh, an ISO or whatever uh, CD image. But uh, SSF can't. So what you uh, what you need to do is you need to either mount uh, the game using uh, Demon Tools Lite or uh, Alcohol 52%. Uh, or uh, third option is to burn the image to a disc and play it on that. <coughs> so I've got already got uh, my SSF set to. Uh, the uh, virtual drive. Alright, so what you're going to need to do first is load up or start up your uh, uh, text editing software. Like uh, I've got uh, Notepad started up. Oops, wrong one. That's the description. <laughs> okay, here is Notepad, and this is. Uh, as you can see here in the title, SSF Batch Template. Um, what we're going to do first is create a batch file, which is basically in uh, executable. <coughs> okay, uh, but this isn't uh, j just limited to SSF. You can uh, do uh, regular PC games or other. Uh, emulators <clears throat> okay so what we're gonna want to do first is point to uh, demon tools light right there and we're gonna want to mount an image using this switch and using this this is uh, demon tools uh, code and that's the virtual drive and right here this is where we want to put uh, our uh, path to uh, the disk image so uh, for this I'm going to use quake so D colon And I'm going to use the Q file. This here will uh, mount that image to Demon Tools Light. And as you can see here, this is our path to uh, SSF. So let's go ahead and save this as. Uh, all files that BAT that is the extension for the batch file okay and let's minimize that and let's go to oops that's not the folder I wanted all right oops uh, I'm having an off day today. <laughs> Documents. 
and we want to go here steam batch files and okay this is where our batch file is at so let's uh, load up uh, batch to exe converter I will have uh, links to this and demon tools light in the description okay uh, batch file here here and we want to open up this batch file okay and we could set uh, any uh, parameters we want there's uh, the code that we put in for our batch file language selector uh, I think there was a way to or something to okay icon file you can add your own icon to uh, the exe that you want to make that's totally optional so let's uh, leave all this as is and let's compile. Okay, we're done with this, so exit. And here is our uh, Quake application. So all you have to do is go into your Steam and add a non Steam game, browse, and we'll browse to our. Steam batch, and we will add our SSF application. Open. Add selected programs. Uh, just rename it to Quake. Close. Set category. Uh, optional, but I like to keep my stuff organized. Okay, Sega Saturn, and what I'm going to do first before running that, I am going to uh, change my SSF setting. <clears throat> because I have it set to uh, run games in full screen mode, and that probably just screwed things up. Um, um, <laughs> Screen and uh, okay, full size. This full screen. Okay, so okay, so okay, the uh, this game disc is not in there yet, so hopefully. It won't go full screen. Okay, so there's uh, we could uh, remove that by adding no echo. Okay, so there we go. As you can see, he has a little steam icon or the steam overlays right there. All right, so. Yeah, that's uh, all it takes for uh, SSF. So, uh, if you like, if you like this uh, quick tutorial and would like to see more, let me know, and I will uh, do another one. All right. So, have a happy New Year, and I will see you later.